Max Ed. Well, it's amazing to think, isn't it, that these used to be made from soap or orange boxes with roller skate wheels. Look at them now. We've got the uh, the hippie split camper van, which is basically a scale model of a VW camper van, down to the finest of detail. These might be handmade and home built, but they've taken months to actually get to this stage. And this has to be, certainly on the eye, one of the more impressive carts that we've seen so far today. Whether it can navigate the 420 metres from top to bottom with all of the obstacles and all of the tight turns, we'll wait and see. I'm not sure about the peace side, it might have to be fingers crossed as far as hippie split camper van are concerned. But off they go. It's quite small, it's quite compact, and you wonder whether the steering will be easy or not. They mine the gap successfully, and there's quite a head of steam being built up already by the camper van. Over the wedge, lands heavily, bit of a wobble. Still looking quick though, but it seems to be difficult to hold, doesn't it, in line. Next up, we've got the apples and pears, and it's side to side through there. Over the apples and pears, bounce, 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 the wheels come off. Skinning down the track, that is going to get through the chicane. He's actually got to reach the chicane. Through the chicane we go, fantastic driving here to actually keep it upright. Back we go towards the kicker. Over the kicker. Oh, he flipped it over the kicker. <laughs> got so far down with his three wheels and then lands on the roof. I'm delighted to say that he's in one piece. And maybe the piece side was exactly what was needed because fingers crossed or not. The hippie split camper man just didn't quite make